Hello everybody, welcome again to our online classes. In today's lesson, we're going to have reading based on Ticket to English 1, Human Rights, Unit 9. Lesson folks, this lesson is meant to develop and enhance your reading strategies. Therefore, the folks will be on the following skills and competencies. Reading a text for the gist. Skimming a text for the main idea or ideas. Scanning a text for specific information. This warm up activity is meant to activate what you already know about the topic of the reading. So, I'd like you to watch the video and say what violations of the child rights that each picture represent. I have the right to an opinion and for it to be listened to and taken seriously. Education is important for the personal, social and economic development of every nation. Why is life unfair? I see countries fighting. I see children wounded and orphaned. I see children starving and suffering from malnutrition. I see children not having a home, living on streets. El mensaje sería que nosotros somos personas, no tenemos la mayoría de edad, pero pensamos igual que ustedes. As you may have noticed, the video is about child rights and the potential violations this can be subject to. Now, look at the pictures, please. What violations of child rights does each represent? Child labor, homeless children, hungry children, early marriage. Correction, please. Picture one is about, good, homeless children. Picture two, very good, child labor. Picture four, I mean, picture three, early marriage. Last one, picture four, hungry children. Very good. Now, let's move on to the next task. Before you read, I'd like you to look at the title of the text in the picture and write down question that I expect the text to answer. Your questions must be as easy as possible because they are only means or guides to facilitate interaction with the text and makes your reading purposeful and more effective. Great. Your questions can be as follow. Why are these children soldiers? What can happen to them? How can they be helped? Great. Let's move on. Now, go through the text quickly and check whether any of your questions is answered. You may need to stop the video for some three minutes. Here is a reminder of your questions. Good. While reading, you may have underlined or highlighted some words, phrases, or sentences that you think are essential to the meaning. Great job. Let's see now if any of your questions are answered. Why are there children soldiers? There is an answer to this question in paragraph number one. In order to escape poverty, defend their community, or seek revenge. What can happen to them? Experiencing violence, robbing thousands of children of their lives, rehabilitation is not always easy or accessible for most of them, 
that less without support are failing the world's children. Thousands of them die out in the battlefield. Question number three, how can they be helped? This question is not clearly answered in the text, but don't worry, it's just a mere guess to help understand and read the text. The next task has to do with getting the main idea of the paragraph. To complete tasks like this, you will need to focus more on the first sentence of the paragraph, then go through the rest of that paragraph to pick up keywords or clues. Now, I'd like you to read the text again and match the main idea with the corresponding paragraph. Have you finished? Let's have the correction, please. We must stop implicating children in armed conflicts. Which paragraph is that? Very good. Paragraph number four. The loss of their human potential is a loss for the world and we ought to put our politics and religion aside and focus on creating religion. We are two. Good. Second idea. Joining armed groups is not a choice for these children. Which paragraph is this? Excellent. That's paragraph number one. In conflict zones, Children may be recruited forcefully or willingly join some armed groups. Good. Idea number three. The conventions on the child rights fail to end child soldiers. That's paragraph number... Excellent. Paragraph number three. As it stands now, we are failing the world's children. As you may notice, this sentence doesn't tell anything about the main idea of the paragraph. So we'll have to move on to find keywords. Here is one, the Convention on the Rights of the Child. The worst forms of child labor yet thousands of them die out on the battlefield. Very good. What about idea number four? That's for sure. Paragraph number two. The conflicts deprive children soldiers of their rights to life. As it were, civil unrest is robbing thousands of children of their lives. Thank you. Let's move on to the other tasks. And this will be about getting specific information or details from the text. Would you please go back to the text and answer the following questions? Why do some children join armed groups? I'm looking here for 
Why? The reason. Question number two. How many countries have ratified the worst form of child labor? How many? By number. Question number three. What does the writer suggest to solve the problem of children soldiers? Suggestions as solutions. Great! Let's have the correction, please. As you may have noticed in the video, I was trying to model how you to scan a text. Now, correction, please. Why do some children join armed groups? The answer is to escape poverty, defend their community, or seek revenge. Good! Question number two. How many children or how many countries have ratified the worst forms of child labor? Good. 150 countries have ratified the worst forms of the child. Question number three. What does the writer suggest to solve the problem of children soldiers? Put out our politics and religions aside and folks on creating solutions. Task 4. Complete the sentences with information from the text. Doing tasks like this is the same as doing two force tasks or question tasks, scanning the text to get specific information. Would you do the task, please? Excellent. Let's have the correction, please. Rehabilitation is for most surviving children soldiers. Good. Not always easy or accessible. Many nations agree that children shouldn't be soldiers, but still, thousands of them die out on the battlefield. As opposed to reading, let's do this recording activity to see how much information you've learned from the text and can retain. Without looking at the text, complete this chart summarizing its main ideas. Child soldiers, causes, results, and solutions. Correction, please. Causes of child soldiers. 
escaping poverty, defending one's community, seeking revenge. As a result, children experiencing violence, robbing children of their lives, dying out on the battlefield. A solution the writer suggests putting out our politics and religion and folks efforts on creating solutions. That's all for now. Let's call it today. Thank you very much for your attention. See you next.